Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Token Post daily news briefing providing the latest and exclusive news on blockchain and cryptocurrency. It seems as Iran is planning to move forward with the adoption of blockchain. According to Tehran Times, an official at the Iranian government's vice presidency claimed that blockchain could help improve the national economy. Aliris Deliri, the Deputy of Management Development and Resources at the Vice Presidency for Science and Technology, said that the government should coordinate with other countries in terms of new technologies such as blockchain. The Vice Presidency further went on to state that while some countries are revealing concerns for this technology, the use of blockchain would bring more good than harm. Currently, with more than 140 countries benefiting from blockchain technology, the realization of a blockchain government seems not too far out of reach. While Iran exposes a pro-blockchain approach to the technology, a new regulation introduced by the Hong Kong Securities and Futures Commission might pose a threat to the local crypto industry. According to Nikkei Asian Review, the Hong Kong SFC is planned to set a tighter regulation on cryptocurrencies to put an oversight on exchanges, traders, and companies related to cryptocurrency. Further detailing on the existing regulatory framework, the SFCs from now on can request licenses to investment funds whose portfolio consists of cryptocurrencies more than 10%. The proposed regulation would also entail that the issue of ICO tokens would have to fulfill the SFC's requirement, such as the token having existed for more than 12 months. Although it is in the SFC's best interest to protect its local investors and the economy, it seems crypto companies based in Hong Kong are headed for a tough break. A new report published by the Blockchain Transparency Institute claims that among 25 BTC pairs on CoinMarketCap, 23 were being grossly watch traded when it comes to trade volumes. Exempting Binance and Bitfinex, BTI reported that the actual trade volume of 25 exchanges is less than 1% of the amount reported on CoinMarketCap. With OKEX being stated as the exchange with the highest watch trade rate, Bitthumb was claimed to be engaging in a bit more delicate wash trade method by switching the wash traded tokens on a monthly basis. On the report, BTI also claimed that these exchanges are doing so to boost and live off the listing fees that the project pays. Adding up to around a total of $100 million from the entire crypto ecosystem, the report argued that most exchanges ran bots and conducted wash trades while they simply collected listing fees from the projects. From customers' pockets to ICO projects and finally to exchanges, there may even be a whole new ecosystem behind the scene when it comes to exchanges. Have you ever heard of the Yellow Vest Movement? A social movement that started from a protest surrounding the decrease of fuel taxes and the increase of minimum wage in France, the Yellow Vest Movement, or in French, Gillette Jeune, caught the eyes of people around the world. Right now, it seems as there is a team building a cryptocurrency based off of this concept called the Gillette Jeune coin. With their slogan of Get Your Freedom Back, the team aims to apply the concept of cryptocurrency to fight against the banking oligarchy that are seeking to enslave people. While the slogan is impressive and may be a bit derivative, the idea behind the project seems well thought out. However, being relatively new to the industry, it might be too early to call whether the Gillette Gen coin would be a game changer or not. Our last story is Bitcoin a year ago today. A year ago today, Bitcoin reached its all-time high of $19,475. Back then, the hype was hotter than ever, and it wasn't hard to come across friends sitting at a bar debating whether Bitcoin was an investment opportunity or simply a FOMO. Looking back the year 2018, it has not been a joyride like the other. The price of Bitcoin hit its 15-month low of $3,200. However, the need for a cooldown of the crypto boom has repeatedly been brought up. While for some, it might not have been the brightest days for trading, but for something that caught popular way too fast, some are calling for a time for adjustment. Will Bitcoin be able to recover from the daunting bear market of 2018 in the coming years? We'll let you decide. We bring the latest news to you. That was Token Post Daily News Briefing. I'm your host, Hoon. Please like and subscribe for upcoming news and interviews. Thanks for watching.